What's up, guys? Eight here at the Philly Regional, and who are we with? Uh, Michael Arisman. You just got third, right? Fuck yeah. You want to jump right in this list, or you got shout outs or anything? Uh, well, shout outs to everyone from Hobby Shop and uh, ICG. Uh, shout out to the people I came with, uh, Rob, Max, Mike Stallone. <laughs> came with. <laughs> shout, out, shout out to my boy. Big shout out to my boy, Sean Lee. He was like, yo, I was telling him, man, I really don't want to try. I'm probably going to play tier. And he said I was retarded and told me to play this. <laughs> so huge shout out to him. Uh, yeah, shout out to everyone from Jersey. Yeah. The, the entire place, all of Jersey. Yeah, shout all of Jersey, bro. Yeah, bro. I need to turn left, though. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. Hell yeah. So for the Notorious, we got uh, three of the good ones. One of the shitty one that I drew 19 times today. <laughs> three of the uh, Reborn, three of the Trap, uh, Foolish Goods. Is this all standard or is Foolish um, Goods Foolish not? Goods isn't. I saw a list from Lima was playing it and I kind of agree with it because you kind of have like technically nine starters. I feel like 10... 10 just felt right. Yeah. I, there was a lot of games where I just were I wasn't seeing uh, like Naturias and I mean, I don't really like playing Runic Control. And if you already have the Naturia Engine 2, it's like an upstart goblin because you could dump a Runic name to have an additional spell for Fountain. Yeah, you could. Uh, that never came up, but you could also do that. Uh, for the Runics, Double Fountain, Triple Tip, Triple Freezing, Triple Destruction, Triple Flashing. Triple Slumber, one Dispelling, and one Smiting Storm. So this is 17. I felt like this was a good number to have because you really, you need to see like two of these. Like there are some hands where I was drawing like all Naturias and I just, you just lose. Like it's not, <laughs> it's not good enough. So uh, you really, you really want to see two of these. Uh, dispelling, now that Tear's not good. I thought Dispelling was insane. Like there, there was one time where uh, Cash, they um they searched. I know what they searched. Um, I activated the spelling. I pitched the card. They searched. But then I but then I banished the Yosis birth, and I'm like fuck. My, I, I was like all right, I'll go fuck myself. So yeah, there's all the. Oh, runics. the Yosis is annoying for this deck. Yeah, I I, 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 I hit the Yosis a lot. <laughs> and for the non-engine, not too much. Um, uh, two talents, one Kelbeck, uh, one Kaiju, and uh, Triple Ash. I feel like Triple Ash was just generic and. For, the, for a deck like this, I feel like you want a hand trap because you're drawing so many cards. It like, it layer, it, not layers your disruptions, but I like to play a deck where you have disruptions on the field, in hand, and grave, which yeah. uh, the, the Naturia engine recurs from grave. Uh, the hand trap's nice. Kalbeck's also a hand trap. It's the one of Shizu I actually wanted to play. Um, because it doubles down as a hand trap. Yeah, it's a hand trap, but also is an engine piece at the same time. Can help on yeah, breaking stuff. I, I don't know. I might cut this in the future. It was insane, though, because um, I was able to hit an Arise Heart with this because they ashed me. Oh, and it God, me that's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Kaiju, um, I just like one of these. It's good to get, really good against Arise Heart Pass, and it helps with my siding patterns to just play the one in the main. And against other Tower decks, like, I mean, like... I didn't play any, but like, for example, like adding Nister or something, I could just stall until I draw this. Yeah, and you have like hella draw engine, so you're yeah, gonna yeah, eventually yeah. see it. It's you nice play, to have a chance to see yeah, it. Yeah, once you see it, you just win. There's also, also like Despia playing Dragoon, it's probably nice for Um, it. There's a significance to playing this exact Kaiju. So sometimes against Cash, when you when you give them the Kaiju, uh, you'll have Nappy stuff. And you, it's the reason this isn't Gamma Seal is because uh, Gamma Seal is 22 and so is Nappy's. So they have to go to battle phase, which is what you want. You want them to waste their battle phase, but you don't want them to be able to crash Nappies and the Gamma Seal to clear their field. Yeah. So this will just kill over Nappies, which is fine. They gave up their battle phase. I'll take that trade. And you can protect with Slumber sometimes. Yeah, also, uh, it's good when you have Mole Cricket up and Nappies, and this is on the enemy field, uh, because it's higher attack and you can get the double summon. That's a good point, too. How am I going to play Kimongus? Yeah, I was going to play Kimongus, but, but uh, my boy Max told me, he was like, he's like, dude, are you retarded as a level 7? <laughs> <laughs> Do you really uh, want to give Cash a level 7? Yeah, I'm like, I'm like yeah, I didn't know it was level 7. He was literally about to, and I told him to fuck off. <laughs> Mikey, count. So, uh, I guess extra deck, uh, two Yugen, uh, two Gary, uh, one yeah, Moonin. Yeah, Moonin's kind of, Moonin's kind of MVP, I'm not going to lie. It's pretty, pretty good. Uh, time is time. based. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but you don't really need more than this. Uh, Gary's, uh, really good in this deck because, um, we're playing Rank 4s. 
uh, that it just goes really well with. And I mean, Hugan's just broken. Uh, for the synchros, no, nah, these are like the MVPs, best card in the game. Uh, my last round was kind of like, uh, math, it was Mathematic Runic, but um, this card was insane because uh, game two, we were both nine cards and he had four cards in hand. And then he goes talents and I'm thinking, I'm like, I'm like, to draw two, I'm like, maybe I could deck him out easier, but I'm like, wait, he has four cards in hand. I have four negates with this. I still have a card and I can just deck him out. It's like, I still draw for turn. I'm like, yeah, this card just, it is just so broken. Not once per chain either. It, it's just ridiculous. Uh, for the other synchros, uh, the two level sixes, you need these. Um, you go for this one if you have another runic name to get Gary into Baron, and you go this one if you don't. Yeah, that's if you have another Naturia card, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then the two level tens, uh, Chenning Baron. How Baron, often does this one come up? Baron's I insane. Chenning rarely does come up. Um, I mean, I feel like if it was a different day, Chenning may have came up more, mm. but I don't know. I, I never really used it. <laughs> Honestly, like. You could literally just play these two cards and the red cards in the extra deck and probably still win with this deck. Because <laughs> Nappies is just that broken. Uh, Rank 4s, Baguska, Dugars. Dugars is insane, honestly. Uh, there was one time where I needed to game a dude in one turn. Um, and Dugars has another effect where he could boost Baron, so I boosted it to 6k. Oh, jeez. So That's um, dirty. Baguska, Baguska is just insane. Um, especially against, like, Brandon. I don't know. Baguska, Baguska is, like... It's weird because it doesn't come up often, but it's really good when it comes up. And uh, Donner, which I think is standard. And uh, th I, I guess this is the spicy tech. I played a Phoenix. Um, this is mainly for cash. And when there was a lot of times today where I had both fountains in my hand and I was bricking on the sacred trees because um, you, can't, can't you can't you can dis discard these to uh, get your Naturia engine rolling. So I thought having another discard um, would be good. So that, in case that scenario ever happens and um, birth is an FDK against this deck and that kind of stops birth. Also sometimes um, when, you're, when your Naturia engine runs low, they're kind of just bodies on field and Bull Cricket's like insane. So you can go like Donner, Phoenix, Pitch, uh, Pitch something, pop, get a draw, Donner pop, and then your extra monster zones free again. So I, I thought that was cool. Um, yeah, honestly, I don't think I'd change anything about the extra deck. Uh, really just solid. And for the side, um, we have another Kaiju. I don't know, I, I just like Kaijus. Honestly, I wasn't too happy with this side. It was mainly for Brandon and Cash, and I played mainly sprites. I don't know how I won. Didn't you mention that being a bad matchup too? Um, I don't, honestly, I, it feels like it kind of is because I'm not playing too many hand traps. And if they go first, they end on like Carrot, Toad. If they're playing Adventure Griffin, that's three spell negates. Like, I can't, I can't play through that. Yeah, and if they're playing the Melfi variant, they get the uh, Arc Light, which is another spell negate. Yeah, 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 which is also a problem because if, um, it banishes from a uh, hand or deck when you get set, so you can't go like um, Camilla symbol cricket. Oh yeah, so it's a floodgate against you too. Yeah, but uh, for the other cards, we have a uh, Curry Kara. This card's actually so fucking dirty. I did this again. I played one Dragon Link today, and um, I tributed over his Baron, and then I took it in the end phase, and then he just got sad because he knew he lost. <laughs> um, these cards, I will die on a hill with these cards. I think the Bestials are like actually like so dirty right now. Um, what for? Like branded? Branded, branded. Like if you open Magnemoot, like I swear, branded just loses. Like <laughs> this card is so the, uh, Why don't you play the Baldrake instead? Because Baldrake, like, it's so rare that you have um, another like Bestial that you contribute to. You could tribute like, though, right? I think it's just any light or dark, so you could tribute Hugin or the other guy. Yeah, I guess, but. I don't know, honestly, I liked, I honestly prefer the effect to link it off or synchro it off and get the send. Yeah, it's crazy. Plus also, these the bestials are level six, so um, this plus like Camilla is just oh, yeah, Baron, Baron or Chen Ying. Actually, one thing I did once was um, I went Magnemoot, um, uh, Magnemoot Camilla, well, I, I summoned Magnemoot and then I went Magnemoot Camilla into Baron and then um, 
Enphase I searched Jewish Worm, or not, not Bar Baron, Shen Ying, and then, uh, Enphase I searched Jewish Worm, so I got the Jewish Worm banish, and I got the Chen Ying banish from Field and Grave. That's insane. Yeah, it was, it was dirty. <laughs> and then, um, this card, if I play more cash and branded, I think I played two or three cash and only one branded. This card's insane. Uh... This plus Nat Beast against Cash is just done. And like Nat Beast is so easily accessible in this deck. Like they just can't play. Um I only drew this once, but when I drew it it just it was an auto win. Yeah, these floodgates are crazy in a deck like this too yeah, when you're drawing three. I feel like I feel like you definitely should be playing at least three going first cards. Plus, uh post side, you are drawing a lot, so there's a really high chance you're gonna see these. Or like whatever you side end up signing in, so it was huge. Um and then, uh, I guess for the last couple cards, it's just back row hey, evenly, uh, Duster. Usually against Cash, um, these come in, which, I don't know, evenly's kind of weird against Cash, but it's fine. These come in. <laughs> it's fine. The Curry cars come in, and the Kaiju, and honestly, like, I don't think I ever lost to a Cash going second. I just, like, I, I, these are just huge blots, and, like, the deck just has so many, like, answers to everything. Uh, and then I played... One Labyrinth, these are fine enough for back row. Like, you have in archetype back row removal, it literally just doesn't matter, you don't need that much. Um, yeah, uh, that's about it. Honestly, deck was crazy. I drew Sunflower like a million times. I'm honestly surprised it did so well today, yeah, but I mean, yeah, we got there. All right, sweet, thank you for the profile.